galactic date 20XX. At the far reaches of space lies a planet on the brink of ruin. The planet's name? Kopai. Due to a booming population, booming appetites, and a basic lack of planning, Kopai's inhabitants have all but exhausted their food supply. Their only hope is to find another planet with edible matter. Accordingly, they send unmanned scout vessels called sparrows out into space. To their dismay, the search is proving fruitless. Just as they're about to give up, the final vessel reports back with news of a miraculous discovery. They mobilized to investigate the planet, which they named PNF-404. Kopai's last hope rests on three intrepid explorers. At last, the explorer's 279,000 light year voyage nears its end. But, as they initiate the landing sequence, something goes horribly wrong. Sono super. Bueno, tu entra now. Sorry, sorry. Who? Tu open. Ah, on moi. Ah, so na. So far, caro pupé. Hmm. Okay, that's Captain Charlie. Hey, how you doing, man? I should escape unscathed, but what about the rest of my crew? They could be anywhere on PNF 404. We've got to find Alf and Brittany. I only hope they survived. Alright, we can do that. Alright, well, here's the introduction. Hey guys, it's me, Sunset Minion. Today we're playing Pikmin 3, not 2, not 1 either. This is the third iteration of the Pick Pick series, and I'm super excited. Oh boy! Hey, Charlie, how you doing? Say, say hi. Hey, how you doing? All right. So we got some. Uh, what are we doing here? Walk? Huh? What in the? Hey, Pikmin, you're yellow. How you doing? You got big floppy ears. There are more of them. Hmm, yeah. You don't say. So strange. No, they're not that strange. They're kinda cute. Okay. This planet's mushrooms are huge. Yeah, they kinda are. Big. Almost your size. Well, kind of your size. Hey, it's a group. Seem to have wandered into a strange neighborhood. Why are they coming closer? My whistle will scare them off. No, man! It's not gonna scare them off. I'm surrounded. Maybe I should throw them. Yeah, let's throw it at the mushrooms. Hey, you can have one. 
You know, one of those. How about one right here? And one over there. Why won't these guys stop hovering over me? B. Oof. They don't appear hostile. So, l let me get this straight. Let me get this straight. I could round up these creatures by pointing at them and pressing ZR and throw them with A. Finally, I can dismiss the whole group with B. Yeah, you can do those things. Hey, I got numbers. Okay, so there's 30 on the field. We got some yellows. Hey, how you doing? Here's a big can. Can I collect it? I don't think so. Don't got no ship. Alright, let's go. Hey, other guys. You guys are chilling up there. Come on, let's go shank some things. Alright. Okay, do the mushrooms. Gotta, gotta mushroom it up. Let's not mushroom it up too much, but we're gonna do just enough just to get a little buzz, okay? Alright, that's enough. No more mushrooms. You guys had enough, alright? Hmm, I like the snow. It's really nice. These graphics are like photorealistic, so pretty. Pressing Z will let me see what's in front of me. Oh, okay. So I can control the camera now. Good. Alright, you needed that. What enormous mushrooms. What is this? Oh, it's a crystal. I think we need some rocks. Okay, let's go for the mushroom. Hey, mushroom! How you doing? No! Okay, we're good. Good job, guys. I wonder if that evil mushroom thing from the first game will be here. That was... That was so scary. I remember I was like... I was like 10 and I was playing the game and, you know, the junk came up and turned my Pikmin into mushroom. What the heck? These guys sure are dedicated. They tend to be. Hey, nice river. They're very nice. Hmm, I like the atmosphere. It's really calm. Ooh, what are those? They look dangerous. Uh, what are you doing? Uh, ah, okay. Oh, okay. Okay, attack, attack. Go, men, attack them. Hmm. Oh my. I got snatched up by something. Elf's crash site. Alright. Let's do this. I think my shit went kaboom. It's a miracle. I'm alive and somehow unharmed. You landed in water, so I think you'll be okay. But you kind of landed next to some dirt. So your body probably hit that. Maybe. I, I think you'll be okay. You you're standing up. Just as the SS Drake was about to land, we lost control and had to make an emergency escape. During the chaos, I was separated from my two team members, as well as the ship itself. As the ship's engineer, it's up to me, Alf, to find both the SS Drake and my crew members. Alright, Alf, how you doing? Nice to see you. You got big eyes and a big nose. But that's kind of the standard in all the Pikmin games. Hey, Red, how you doing? Oh jeez, you ran off. It's so slick. Alright, I'm coming to get you. Where are you? Don't run. I'm nice. I don't mean harm. I can't even punch right now. Or do anything. Just run. And move the camera. 
It appears that the specimen I just spotted has company. What's that stuck in a branch? Is there anything I can do? Yeah. Blow that whistle and throw it. There you go. Nice. I was hoping that it was fruit, but it doesn't appear to be edible at all. Nevertheless, the red fellow seemed quite pleased now that it's freed. Now, I'd be kind of pleased too if that was my home, and you know, my home was stuck in a tree, and then, you know, I had to have my friend throw me up there to put down my home. Alright, where my homies? Alright, uh, hey. What's this pile of rubble? Hey, what are you doing there? Get over here. I have four of you guys now. I'm four man. Okay. I guess throw. What are they doing? They're carrying things. What do you mean? Okay. You guys can go there. Mm. My cop pad. Thank goodness I found it. I can use it to locate the SS Drake. Yeah, you can do that. Alright. Hey. Guys. Keep building. Hey, Onion. You look really HD. You almost look kind of like a strawberry in this game. Less of an Onion, but hey. Whatever works out. Okay. Uh... Oh, well, there's still four in the field. I guess we just, we just chill. Hey guys, keep working. I'm the, I'm the guy who's gonna oversee all your work. Just make sure you do it quick. I don't provide workers' compensation or any of that guff. Okay, that's it. All right, my bit, my bridge, my bridge is complete. Whoa. Okay, hey. Wonderful, the bridge is complete. Yeah, it is. Okay, let's get that. Get it, get it. I'm looking at the gamepad. Okay, so it actually shows what's on the gamepad on the screen. I'm looking at the same thing you guys are looking at, so... Nothing really different, just that the, the stuff on the screen is kind of small. I'll read it, though. Great. It still works, of course. I'd expect nothing less from Copite Engineering. I'll check my surroundings by tapping and sliding the comp pad screen. Where's the Drake? Uh. Uh. I should follow that signal. Okay, so I'm touching the screen. I see a beacon. Aha. The SS Drake isn't that far from here. Maybe the other two crew members are there as well. I better head in that direction. Yeah, we gotta... We gotta head there or else we're probably gonna get eat up, so... Hey! We used to make more Pikmin! Hey, that's fine with me. I remember the first game came with some weird tagline. I was like... Uh... There's strength in numbers or some crap. I don't know. But I like Pikmin. It was, uh... It was the first game I got for GameCube. Back when it was released in, uh, what, 2001? I think. I don't know these things. I was a wee lad. That thing is popping out some sort of sprouts. That's good, man. Don't be alarmed. That just means there's more of them. With more, we can accomplish more, you know? Have you heard of teamwork? I'm sure you have. You got two t captains. Red Pikmin. Ain't you all shiny and stuff? Ah, uh, I see. So this is how these little creatures propagate. How incredibly fascinating. Yeah. That's how they 
do the thing. I don't even know if these things have a gender. I think they're genderless. Oh well, it's some type of some kind of type of reproduction, whatever. Okay. Uh then we got more pellet Oh, we gotta kill these. Die, you things. You're harmless. You don't have pincers like your friends. Okay. Uh I see a flower up there. Let's go. Let's go. Get it on up there. Alright. Wow, this one's huge. Yeah, it is. Go! Punch! Hey, I can punch. Hey! I guess in this game you can only punch um, when you're next to an enemy. But I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. It's just in Pikmin 2, you can punch all the time. Or you, or like, um, you can just go through dungeons, punching everything in sight. That was neat. I liked it. Kind of help you save Pikmin because those dungeons, they, they were no joke, man. You know, you got all those crazy creatures there trying to kill you. You know. All right. Uh, yeah, go in there. All right. Now I want you guys to. How many pick do we need for this box? Twenty. Okay. Well, you guys can chill. Oh, what's that? Oh, cardboard box. How did I do that? Okay. Alright. 16. Let me go get the rest. You guys chill. Don't don't go nowhere. Alright? I'll, I'll be back. Okay. Uh, okay. Pluck. Hello, friends. I'm gonna take you guys to go push a big box, alright? So I uh, stay close and I don't wander off. Okay. We got 21. Hey, a yellow thing. What's that? It looks like someone's left a data file here. Perhaps the cop pad will be able to read it. Yoo! Pikmenology number one. The onion is like a nest for the Pikmin. It both gives birth to them and provides them with shelter. Excellent. The cop pad can read the data file. So these creatures are called Pikmin. This information might come in handy later on. I'll save it in the cop pad's exploration notes. I'm getting logged in! Installing apps! Alright, we got some notes. I don't think Captain Charlie wrote this data file. So who did? Could there be another intelligent life form on this planet? Hmm. Mm. There's a mystery here. We're gonna have to solve this. All right, let's gizzo go. According to the radar, the Drake should be through here. We got some nice flowers here. That's nice. All right, hey, mushrooms. There's a lot of you. Wow, those are massive, but they don't look edible. They look nasty. Ugh. Poisonous and dangerous. Ew, it can get, go away. Okay. Hey. Who built this wall here? More signs of intelligent life? Alright. Hey. Go. Do it. Do your thing. Stop slacking. Tear down the wall. Have at it, guys. It's your day. Do it up. Alright, good job team, get ready for the next round. Alright. I hope the Drake is okay. Alright, let's go find that Drake. The rapper. He was on Kanye Quest, was he? No, he wasn't on Kanye Quest. Whatever. There it is, the SS Drake. The cop hat isn't picking up any signs of life in the immediate area. What am I supposed to do now? Mm. 
Someone's hit me up. Incoming transmission. Who could it be? Hey, it's homegirl. Alf, it's me, Brittany. Do you copy? I'm gonna call you Shorty. Because you look like a Shorty, okay? Well, actually, I'm gonna call you Shoddy. Thank goodness. You're with the SS Drake, right? I made it through the landing in one piece. The thing is, I'm trapped somewhere. And I'm starv- Oh no, I got cut off bad reception! Oh no, we got cut off. I wonder how far away Shoddy is. But at the very least, I'm thankful that she appears to be safe and sound. What's that strange sound? The sun is setting, which could mean that nocturnal predators are starting to wake up. Oh no, get in your ship! I should probably get off the planet's surface for now. Get out of there. Things are coming! It's Freddy Krueger! And his buddy, Jason. Together they're gonna roam the night and probably slash up a few foes. Probably slash me up too, but you know, I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm fine. If they want to do that, that's fine. That's okay. That's great. Okay. Most of the supplies we brought with us from Kopai were destroyed in the crash landing. So we now only have three days worth of edible provisions left. Looks like some blue Kool-Aid. Starting tomorrow, I'll have to find some local food. Okay. I'm down for food. Good job, we... experienced lots of growth. Got two juices left and 21 reds, so... That's great. And that's day one. So... Oh, what's this? We're shipwrecked on this planet. Some creatures called Pikmin helped me to find the SS Drake, but our cosmic drive key is nowhere to be found. We won't be going anywhere without that. Luckily, I made contact with Shoddy, and we'll set out to find her tomorrow. When I took off in the ship, the onion took flight as well. Odd, but amazing.